Hi guys, before I continue on IP addressing, I will explain to you what is the difference between a LAN and a WAN and uh, the different functions of different networking devices like a switch and router as well. So basically what is a LAN and what is WAN? Very often we hear this term, LAN is local area network whereas one is wide area network A local area network is basically a network on a small geographical location for example you have a switch that switch you have different computers or hosts for example on laptop here so you can have another PC but small network forms what we call as the LAN local area network for example now if you want to understand what is one one for example you have your switch at home that switch has your computers here Up here. That switch now is connected to a device that I will call a router. That router now, at your home, you have your normal phone line that comes to this router. And this router, via your normal, let, let me put it here. This is your normal phone line. By your normal phone line, it connects you over the internet. The internet is basically a cloud where your connection goes from your home to your ISP. This is your ISP. ISP stands for Internet Service Provider. Your ISP now, from your ISP, it has different links that goes to other countries. For example, my ISP in my country can go, for example, in France and connects to one of the main ISP there. And from those ISP, it connects to different ISPs. That wide network, I refer it to a one wide area network. It's a network that is span over big geographical locations, some, sometimes between cities, sometimes between countries. So basically this is a one. For you to understand the concept of one, well, you just need to understand that it's a broad network covering different countries, different cities, that's a wide area network. Now I am going to explain to you the different types of networking devices for you to understand the concept of LAN and one well. Before I go in IP addressing scheme, you need to understand the different networking devices. Consider your home. You have a switch. Your switch, for example, you have an A port switch here. And from that A port switch, you have, for example, a PC here. You have a laptop here. You have another PC. And this switch, for example, has a wireless antenna serve as a wireless access point. I am connected my tablet and also my phones. It has an antenna. This is an antenna. Now, for example, this is host A, this is host B, host C, this is host D and host D. For example, now I am a programmer. I want to build a small website here on hosting and I want 
PCB to access that small web website. From my PCB, I can access the website via its IP address. As I explained to you, the IP address is unique on each device. For example, if I have IP address, for example, I call it small a, here the IP will be small b, here the IP address will be small c, the IP address will be small d, here the IP address will be small b. For example, now from PC B, I want to access the website on PC A. I just need to access it via its IP address. And that network switch is that device that is sufficient to do the to forward the packets among those different network hosts. Now, for example, I need to go over to the internet. Now, a very important device comes here. This is called a router. A router is a device that connects normally several LAN together, or it connects a wide area network to a local area network. That's a wide area network, it connects it to a local area network. From my switch, I take a straight cable, I connect it on one of the ports of the router. The router will have another port that will go on the phone line, for example. This is a phone line that goes here. It's a DSL router, digital subscriber line. For example, this is my ADSL line. That's my ADSL line. ADSL means asymmetric digital subscriber line. That ADSL line will give me access to the internet. As I go beyond this point, I am now entering the one. Remember that my ADSL line will go normally to my ISP, my internet service provider, that company that will give me access to the internet. And from here, my LAN starts, my what? Sorry, my one starts, and everything which is inside the router is called the LAN. You see the difference between the LAN and the one. The LAN is everything that is inside the router. Uh, the router and everything that goes beyond the router is the one and the device that connects the one and the LAN is called a router okay you have understood that the internet connection for example i might have an adsl line adsl is asymmetric digital subscriber line and uh, that line comes on a router which also this router, since the, the, this line is come, it's also performing the function of a modem, modulated modulator. Asymmetric, why we call it asymmetric? Just for your information, you need to understand that an ADSL circuit, for any line, you have two speeds. One which is called the upload speed, and one which is called the download speed. If you have, for example, a 2 Mbps megabit per second ADSL line, in fact, what your ISP is giving you is giving you, it's referring, the 2 Mbps is referring to the download speed. And since it is an ADSL line, the download speed and the upload speed is not the same. Normally, the download speed is much more than the upload speed. The download speed, if it's 2 Mbps, it's 2048 bits per second. You can have only, for example, so it's Kbps, 2048 kilobits per second. For example, the upload speed will be, might be only like, for example, 128 Kbps. Why is it asymmetric? It's asymmetric because it uses high frequency of your normal phone line. 
and it can't give you the same speed because the frequency is limited so most of us when we go on website for example youtube facebook we use large portion of the download speed and very minimal on the upload speed when we use the upload speed for example if you are taking a file from your pc you are sending it on your email as an attachment it is only one if you use upload speed most of the time when you are browsing the internet you are watching a video on youtube you are using basically the download speed so on this video we have learned some very important concepts you have understood that the switch is sufficient as a network device to link any device in your LAN. Your router is a device that connects the wide area network that goes beyond your router to your LAN. Everything which is inside your router becomes your LAN. And that device is called the router. And that router, has, I refer to it also as a modem because you have your normal phone line that goes over the over the router and that router is giving you access to the internet it's the internet link that comes on the router DSL is the digital subscriber line you have a portion the student that ADSL is asymmetric digital subscriber line where the upload speed and the download speed is not the same normally for ADSL line the download speed is normally much higher on the upload speed you have some line where the upload speed and the download speed is the same an example will be the sdsl line symmetrical digital subscriber line this is asymmetrical this is symmetrical you have both uh, both speed but uh, for home usage uh, adsl is very common in my next video i'm going to explain to you how we assign ip address and i will give you a broader picture of how the internet works as well Thank you very much for watching my video and catch me on my next video.